Insider Dave Spadaro here with Dallas Goddard. We are here leaving the airport on the way to the Novacare complex. And I want to start Dallas with what was your last thought before you went to sleep last night? Man, it was tough. Uh, we had to wake up early, come to the airport, and I, let me tell you, I didn't get much sleep. I think the first time I fell asleep was on the airplane, so uh, my mind was running, and I'm just so happy to be in Eagles. Was it was it fun? Was it nerve-wracking? Did you, like, purge at the end of it because all the pressure that had been building up over these last few months? Yeah, once I got the phone call, um, all the stress was lifted off my shoulders, and I was just able to relax and have fun. So, I mean, I was just so excited, couldn't sleep, and... But uh, I took a little nap on the plane. I'm so happy to be in Philadelphia. I've heard your name pronounced Goddard, Godert. What nicknames did you have in high school, and what's the correct pronunciation of your name? Uh, the correct pronunciation is Goddard. Okay. Um, nicknames, Dame Dog Dab, Daddy Dal, and Dally what? Wags were probably that, that, those two. You got to tell me about what those names mean. Well, Dally Wags, um, it was just me and a buddy. There was another Dallas on the team, so they called. It was kind of a Wags thing, Dally Wags between me and him. <laughs> Dame Dog Dab Daddy Dal, I don't really know how that all happened, but it was a little bit with Damian Lillard. Uh, and Dame Dog sounded cool to me. Uh, it was when dabbing started, and it just kind of flew, flew off the tongue. So, Give me a dab. Give me a little you know, dab. Hit okay, there we go. There we go. A little something. All right, so what do you know about Eagles fans? Uh, I mean, they're passionate. They love their Eagles. Some of the best fans in the world. I'm excited to be playing in front of them. Can I give you a tip? Will you accept a tip from me? Yes. Eagles fans like to say Dallas sucks. Yes, I know. Okay, I've, don't take it personally. I might have to uh, change my name to Philly. Everybody's <laughs> saying, so Philly Goddard. All right, the name of the play in the Super Bowl, Trey Burton throws the pass to Nick Foles for the touchdown. What was the name of the play? Uh, the Philly Special. Okay, nicely done. Yes. If the Eagles call the play requiring you to throw a football, would you be able to do it? Easy, really? right on the money every time. Okay, I like the confidence. Do you know a little about Philadelphia? What like what do you know about the history of Philadelphia? Have you studied it at all? Uh, you know, they got the Liberty Bell here. Um, not a lot more. How about the cheesesteak? Uh, good, good Philly cheesesteak. Okay, what is what was what is a what is your definition of a good Philly cheesesteak? Man, I don't know if I've had a true ever real Philly cheesesteak, so I'm excited to try one. All right, how about Wawa? Do you know what a Wawa is? Um, no, no <laughs> idea. Wawa is the convenience store of all convenience stores. Oh, really? So, like, in South Dakota, where do you go if you want to get, like, a sandwich or a cup of coffee or soda and chips? Uh, man, like Subway, Walmart, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, okay, okay. It's Wawa in Philadelphia. Wawa. Don't forget that. I like it. Um, I can't wait to find it. When did you fall in love with football? Um, probably started to fall in love with football. Uh, later on in my high school career, uh, basketball was probably my first true love. Got to play that at a younger age. And then, you know, just the more I got to play it, it was the only sport. I fell in love with it, um, everything to do with it. So I love football. The game of basketball, what was your game? How would you describe it? I know when you talk to reporters after the draft, you said that you had a lot of LeBron in your game. Yeah, I'd say LeBron. You know, when I Come play, it's, I'm playing with uh, kids. You know, I, I feel like I can do it all, handle the ball pretty well. I'm bigger than most people, more athletic than most people I'm playing against. So I'm able to just kind of, you know, do what LeBron does. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yes. Uh, do you know uh, what you re Do you remember the first time you ever scored a touchdown, the feeling that you had? Man, the first time was probably seventh grade football, probably our first play ever. Uh, we were really good seventh grade. It was it was a lot of fun. I was running back. It was probably 28 sweep, just, just a pitch out, and I ran around the corner, stiff armed a guy, and scored. And I mean, it was a lot of fun. And you know, obviously scoring touchdowns is something an offensive player loves to do. Is Carson Wentz a legend in the Dakotas? Uh, I mean, he's probably more than a legend. That dude is, I mean, I got drafted to Philadelphia and people were more happy that they could watch him and me at the same time. They were more happy that they could watch him and they could keep watching him because that's what, basically all they watch. All right, so you haven't been in Philly very long, so you won't really know how to hear some of the words that are said. How do you say the word W-A-T-E-R? Water. Okay, in Philadelphia, we say water. Water. Can you say that? Okay, water. Water. You got that? Uh, the word H-O-M-E. Home. We say it home. Home. Okay, home. Home. We, uh, it's the O. The long right. O's. So learn how to be a Philly guy. I got you. All right. Uh, you're, are you a tough guy? Oh, real tough. Do you think that that blue color attitude is really going to resonate with what the city's all about? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the Philadelphia Eagles won the Super Bowl. So that over there, that's the Naval Yard, the shipyard. Yeah. So this is your first look at Philly. The weather's pretty nice, right? I love it. Beautiful out today. The Eagles won the Super Bowl, and the whole town... Everybody loves each other. The city of brotherly love, sisterly yep. love. We all truly love each other now. Did you at all peek into 
the Super Bowl game and the parade afterward? Oh yeah, I watched the Super Bowl parade. Uh, I watched the Super Bowl as well. Um, I mean, the passion that some of the players have, it was awesome. I mean, uh, Jason Kelsey's speech, I don't know if anybody uh, didn't have goosebumps ready to take on whatever they needed to on that day. So that was incredible. And, you know, the parade was just an incredible thing. And uh, what Philly did is so special. And I'm excited to be part of it. And Zach Ertz, is that going to be kind of your welcome to the NFL moment when you walk in and see Zach Ertz? Although, have you met Zach? I haven't met Zach yet. Yeah. Uh, I got a text message from him last night. It was really cool. Uh, really excited to meet him. He seems like a great guy. Uh, he's obviously a great tight end. And to learn and play with him uh, is going to be a real honor. Do you believe that there'll be like a welcome to the moment, welcome to the NFL wow moment for you? Um, you know, I could kind of feel maybe like uh, the first time would probably be like a cross route getting hit by a linebacker, you know. Um, but I've met a lot of people that play in the NFL, a lot of big name people. So um, I'm just excited to get in the playbook and start playing. Why didn't you go to a big time college with the kind of football player you are? Um, growing up, we didn't really uh, have a very good football team in high school, a uh, small um, conference that not a lot of people go out of. So I never sent my film out, never went to the camps that you have to go to to get recruited. We just didn't know that's how you did it. Yeah. So um, I was lucky enough to get a walk on spot at South Dakota State, took it, and uh, you know, couldn't be happier how it turned out. And you said you'd never been in a weight, you didn't have a weight room in high school? Uh, we had a weight room, but I was never down there. Like, we didn't have like a weight program or okay. anything. What are you weighing in right now? Uh, probably right around 255. 6'5", 255? Yeah. Cool. You glad it's all over now, man? No no more tests, yeah. no more questions, no more poking and prodding? I'm so excited just to get into football, start playing the game I love. Well, we are near the Novacare Complex. Right over there is where the Phillies play. Over there is where the Sixers and Flyers play. And that's Lincoln Financial Field. I love right it. Right over there. That's the home of the Super Bowl yes. champion. And in fact, you can kind of see right over there. Yes. The banner that says Super Bowl champions. I can't wait to step on that field. It's going to be incredible. Welcome to Philadelphia, Dallas Goddard. Yes. Cool, man. Good Thank stuff. You. All right. Thank Dave you. Spadaro, Dallas Goddard. Thanks for joining us here. We'll talk to you later.